Hello, all my friends. I was missed. I should run for mayor. <laughs> Code WP here, giving you a little Charles Bukowski. This is another video where I am uh, paying homage to one of my one of my heroes, the great Charles Bukowski. This is his book, Tales of Ordinary Madness. Bukowski was a very unique voice. He shattered the standards of cultural relativism, relative, what is culturally relevant. How about that? We'll say it that way. In, in uh, our time, in terms of what is expected of poetry and what is what is within the bounds of poetry? Bukowski was one of those poets. And there were others, of course. Ginsberg, Gregory Corso, many others. Jack Kerouac, the Beats, all the Beats, basically, a lot of the Beats. Who said, not to hell with your form, to hell with your standards, to hell with your rhyme schemes. To hell with all your, all the past, right? We're writing the poetry of the future. That was Bukowski. Man way ahead of his time. Uh, and I'm going to read one of my favorite Bukowski poems. It's called The Genius of the Crowd. <clears throat> There is enough treachery, hatred, violence, absurdity in the average human being to supply any given army on any given day. The best at murder are those who preach against it. The best at hate are those who preach love. And the best at war, finally, are those who preach peace. Those who preach God need God. Those who preach peace do not have peace. Those who preach peace do not have love. Beware preachers. Beware the knowers. Beware those who are always reading books. Beware those who are either who either detest poverty or or are proud of it. Be, be beware those quick to praise, for they need praise in return. Beware those who are quick to censor. They are afraid of what they do not know. Beware those who seek constant crowds, for they are nothing alone. Beware the average man, the average woman. Beware their love. Their love is average, seeks average. But there is genius in their hatred. There is enough genius in their hatred to kill you, to kill anybody. Not wanting solitude, not understanding solitude, they will attempt to destroy anything that differs from their own. Not being able to create art, they will not understand art. They will consider their failure as creators only as a failure of the world. Not being able to love fully, they will believe your love incomplete, and then they will hate you, and their hatred will be perfect, like a shining diamond, like a knife, like a mountain, like a tiger, like hemlock, their finest art. This is a little wisdom of Mr. Bukowski. One of the greatest poets of our time. Here's to you, Charles Bukowski. May you rest in peace. And always have a jug of wine at your side. Amen to that.